people shall never be put to shame. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. God's spirit poured out, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall not your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also my men servants and my maid servants. I will pour out my spirit in those days, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. The last verse. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. May God bless the, may the reading of the word enrich us in our hearts in Jesus' name. Just praise the Lord. It's a month of our new way. Just look around, tell your neighbor it's turning around for me. If you don't believe it, point at me. Say it's turning around for joy. That shall be your song in Jesus' name. Our song says it's turning around. Hallelujah. Running around 
to dancing. The Lord will perfect us. yourself. So we need to prove that this morning. Brethren, please, I need you to do this for me. Point your hand to me and say, it's turning around for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, okay. Maybe it's because I said you should say it's turning around for me. So you are just following whatever I said. So now point to me now and say, He's turning around for you. Ah. Praise the Lord. He's surely turning around for you. In this month of new wave, you know, the, this new wave is the spirit of turn around. For every one of you in this house, I declare it is turning around for you. You know, the new wave is the spirit of exploits. While we were praying here on Friday, and the Lord said, in the spirit of exploit, you have the grace of know-how. Say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good. Today, that God that brought the spirit of know-how to effect under the ministry of the Lord Jesus and the apostles, he is your God. He will invest the power of know-how into your life and destiny today in the name of Jesus. Brethren, you are welcome to this prophetic service and I trust God that the power of prophecy will turn somebody's life around. In the name of Jesus. Before the word will come, there is a five minutes playlet that we would watch. And to bring the word today, 
is conquerability. What did I say? <laughs> it's an apostle in the house. An apostle who ministers with great grace. Every time I have opportunity for this jewel of Jehovah that I sit under his ministry, I see something new galvanizing me to something uncommon. Brethren, I want to say today, I'm glad for you that you are in the house today to be part of what God is about to release. To minister to us this morning is no other than our Father in the Lord, a great grandfather in this house, an apostle of church planting and missions. Please, brethren, can we put our hands together for Jesus as we celebrate the ministry of our father, our beloved daddy, Dayo. Are they with me? Put your hands together for Jesus. You know, daddy just stepped out now. The play let we go on. As soon as he steps into this auditorium, we will stand up with a rousing ovation and welcome him into the house. And immediately after the play let, that day will come. You know, you, they, somebody say, you don't introduce a lion, you just release him. We release the ministry of this servant of the Most High to bless us today. Happy watching, everybody. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the, <laughs> praise the Lord, church. Good morning, everyone. The drama group uh, from FWI, we have a ministration this morning. Stay blessed. Catch the ministration and, no, and not only the crews. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. I intentionally decided not to tell us the title of the drama. At the end of the drama, you will have a title to give to it. But don't forget that we are still handling the theme that says what? New wave. Praise the Lord. Is this? Oh, good morning. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome to accompany. What rubbish is this? Oh, we are sorry about that. Why is this place so messy? Oh, sorry. The so untidy. Oh, we are so sorry. I, I thought this place is supposed to be a reputable and high standard company. Oh, we are sorry about that. Good morning. You are welcome. Congratulations. Can you imagine? you have cleaner in this company? We have, but they are busy. They are busy over there. We are sorry about that. Please, better do. Sort yourself out. Congratulations for making it to the final round of your interview to our company. Please, auntie, which religion do you practice? I'm Christian, of course. Okay. Is there any, do you have any post in your church? Of course. Coordinator in a charismatic renewer. Okay, you are the coordinator of charismatic renewers. Yes, ma. You are welcome. You can have your seat over there. This is your paper. You are welcome. I hope you are getting the message. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. You are welcome, madam. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. We are so, oh, we are so sorry about that. You are welcome to our company. Excuse me, where are the cleaners in this company? Oh, the cleaners are busy over there. Oh, we are so sorry, please. No, 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 I can't take this rubbish. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry please. You are welcome to our company. In fact, when I will collect this managerial position, okay. Why all of them? Oh. Why are them? Oh, we are so sorry about that. Madam, congratulations for making it to the final round of the interview. Please, which religion do you practice? Religion? Yes, yes, yes. I'm a Christian. Okay, you are a Christian. Please, which church? Do you have any position in your church? The head of Women League. Women League. Okay, you are welcome. Congratulations for making it to the final round of the interview. Please have your seat. morning you are welcome you, good morning you are welcome congratulations for making it to the final round of the interview of our company yes. you are welcome What? Yes. I said you have been awarded the position of the manager of this prestigious and reputable company. Excuse me. Is that is that is that a yeah? I, I, I don't understand what is going on here. I you are going to something pertaining to intellectual and you are telling me all this nonsense. Yes. You, you, are, you, are, you are just I, I don't like this so. Uh -uh. Excuse me, excuse me, madam. I don't understand what just played out here now. Because all my mind is I'm going to be the one that people are choosing. Yes. Look at me now. Look at me. Eh? Anyway, in my house, I don't do all these house chores. I don't do it. I have people at my back and call. We don't see a manager. We want a manager that will work as a team here. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't, I don't, do, I don't want this trash. Eh? Yeah? To experience this new wave, God needs a selfless service from you. Praise the Lord. And for God to exalt you, you need to be humble. Pray, stay blessed. Hallelujah.
blessed in our lives as a church, as families, and as individuals. Accept our thanks for what you are doing in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this month of September. It's a month of convocation and it's a month of new wave. Lord, thank you for the blessings we received last Sunday. And thank you, Lord, for the one we received today. Thank you for the one we received next Sunday and throughout the month. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that you hide me behind the cross. No one will see me. No one will hear me, but they will hear the voice of the living God. You will save, you will heal, you will deliver. You will set free, and your name shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. We worship you and adore you. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus and please take your seat. Thank you. Hallelujah. We want to thank the angel of this church for the privilege given to me once again to minister. Please help us clap for Jesus, for our deal. Thank you. And our mommy deal. Thank you very, very much. More grace, more anointing. In the name of Jesus. How many of us love our deal and love mommy deal? Okay. Let's give Jesus a wiper. Great couple in the house. God will continue to empower you and, and anoint you for the work in the name of Jesus. We appreciate in the name of Jesus. Let me call uh, Amayeme to pray. that I am. We exhort and worship you this morning. We thank you, Father, Lord God, for what our eyes have been beholding since we have come in the morning. And we glorify your holy name because it has been a blessing to our souls. And we pray, Tana Rock of Tages, we want to hear your word right now. We pray that you will speak to us from above in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father, Lord God, that your work will take us to the next level of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. And your word, oh Lord God, we are about to hear right now. Eternal rock of ages, we heal, we deliver, we save, and we take us everlasting, Father. So we want to hear what you want us to hear and what you want us to know in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of Glory, for your servants you are going to use, everlasting Father. I pray that you envelope him with your power, with your anointing, with your strength, in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not speak of his own, but he will speak the undiluted word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And your name alone, eternal rock of ages, will be exalted and glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord God. Glory and honor be to your holy name, because at the end, every one of us shall be blessed, and your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Once again, we appreciate Dio and Mommy Dio for this privilege. More grace in Jesus' name. It's a month of new wave. Somebody tell your neighbor, new wave. New wave. Tell your neighbor, new wave. new wave. Shall we turn to Acts chapter 2? Place. And so 
suddenly there came a sound from heaven of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of a fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Praise the name of the Lord. The Holy To every problem in the church. Can somebody say amen? The Holy Spirit is the one that brings the new wave. We had the word of God last Sunday as our daddy talked about new wave for divine increases, exceeding increases. And I know how many of us we are blessed last Sunday. Can you give Jesus a wiper? Hallelujah. So he will increase us in the name of Jesus. I said God will increase us in the name of Jesus. This month, the new wave of increases is already upon our life. And we also had last Sunday about new wave of creativity. God will give us new wave of creativity so that with the creativity we'll be able to move forward in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, in elementary physics, we saw that light is a wave, you know. And of course, at a time also, they, they said life is also a particle. So the wave particle duality concept is already part of science for long. And that was what led to Schrodinger's equation in elementary physics. We are saying that the Lord has sent us the Holy Spirit since the day of Pentecost, to be able to empower us to move to the next level. Please prophesy to some people that you are moving to the next level. Say you are moving to the next level. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord.
momentum. Can somebody say Holy Ghost momentum? Because a wave is when a mass when a mass M carries velocity V. You have what in physics is called I see you carrying momentum from this church today in the name of Jesus. I say I see you carrying momentum in the name of Jesus. When mass M possesses velocity, it has momentum. And what we need today in this our church, in this our country, in this our system is to carry momentum. When you carry momentum, you are unstoppable. As we go today, we shall be unstoppable in the name of Jesus. He said, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. So, we see that they have been praying for so many days, expecting the Holy Ghost to come. The first day they prayed, the Holy Ghost didn't come. The second day they prayed again, the Holy Ghost didn't come. The third day they prayed, the Holy Ghost didn't come. And so for many days, the Holy Ghost didn't come. But on the tenth day, the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all in one place. And suddenly, I see somebody suddenly carrying a new wave. I say it shall be sudden. Suddenly, you will encounter a new wave. In the name of Jesus, there came a sound from heaven of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. I see the mighty rushing wind filling this house this day in the name of Jesus. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And he sat upon each of them. Cloven tongues as of fire. Hallelujah. God is a consuming fire. And as we come into his presence today, he will consume sickness in our life. He will consume sin in our life. He will consume iniquity in our life. Because God is a consuming fire. It appeared unto them. Cloven tongues like as of fire. And he sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Holy Spirit will give us utterance to speak in his name in the name of Jesus. To such an extent, when you get to verse 13, he said they were all amazed and they were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? That's verse 12. Others mock and said, they were full of the new wine. They were full of the new wine. They, are, they were full of the new wave. Hallelujah. But Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, Voice, for they are not drunken, as ye suppose, since it is but the turn down the day, just about 9 a.m. People cannot be drunk at 9 a.m. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, which we have read earlier. That it shall come to pass in the last days, he will pour his spirit upon all flesh, and all your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I see you prophesying today in the name of Jesus. He said, they shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. I see young men carrying visions home today in the name of Jesus. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens will I pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above 
and signs on earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor or smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great day and notable day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise the name of the Lord. Ye men of Israel, hear ye the words. Jesus, a man approved of God among you by signs and wonders, and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken, and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God raised up, having loosed the pains of death, and because it was not possible that he should be holding of it. David speaker concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Thou wilt there suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. Thou hast made known unto me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy by thy countenance. Men and brethren, let me speak freely of you, of Petra David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us till this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him, that of his fruits of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on the throne. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn to an oath, that of the fruit of his loin, according to the flesh, he will raise Christ to sit on the throne. He, seeing this days before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his, his flesh see corruption. Jesus had God raised up, wherefore we are all witnesses. So, Peter was talking about the resurrection of Christ from the grave. They thought that having killed him, he will not rise, but on the third day, he rose from the grave. And not only that, he is now sending the Holy Spirit upon his church so that mighty works can be done in his name. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? amen. And in verse 38, he said, Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins. And the gift of the Holy Spirit. So what people need to do is to repent from their sins and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and they will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord shall call. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So we see that the Holy Spirit is the answer to every problem we may be facing in the church today. Now, the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost and he came with new wave to such an extent that people started hearing themselves speaking in various languages, in the Egyptian language, people from Libya, people from Pagia, people from all kinds of places. We are now speaking their language as if they were hearing their voices, speaking the language, because God gives languages to people as he gave them utterance. Praise the Lord. This morning, 
and speaking on new wave for fruitfulness. New wave for fruitfulness. New wave for fruitfulness. God wants us to be fruitful. He blessed us so that we can be fruitful. Hallelujah. Can we go to Genesis chapter 1? Genesis chapter 1, we read verse 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Genesis 1, 28. And God bless them. I want you to know, as you have come to share this money, you are blessed. God said unto them, be fruitful. He said unto them, be what? Fruitful. And replenish the earth. And subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Right in the heart of God. From the beginning, God wants us to be fruitful. Hallelujah. He wants us to be able to bring forth fruit. He doesn't want us to be barren. He doesn't want us to remain the same. He wants us to bring forth fruit. So fruitfulness is our portion in the name of Jesus. Can somebody say fruitfulness is my portion? Say I am saved to be fruitful and I shall be fruitful. Can somebody say amen to that? So fruitfulness is very, very important. And what we need wind that came on the day of Pentecost is what brings fruitfulness into it was a command. Be fruitful, and then you multiply, and you replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish. It was virtually a five state. You be fruitful, you multiply, you replenish the earth, you subdue it, and you have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moveth over the face of the earth. God created us for fruitfulness. Please let me tell your neighbor, God created us for fruitfulness. I see you being fruitful. I see you being fruitful in the name of Jesus. So fruitfulness is our portion and we shall not be barren in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord knows that our number one duty on earth is to be fruitful. So he blessed us. I want you to know you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Whether you have money in your account or not, I said you are blessed. Whether you are single or you are married, I said you are blessed. Somebody say, I am blessed and I shall be fruitful. Say, I am blessed and I shall be fruitful. To such an extent that in Acts chapter 2, where we read at verse 21, 3,000 souls were added to the church in one day. Fruit was coming to the church in one day. When the law was made, 3,000 souls were killed by God. But when the Holy Spirit came, 3,000 souls were saved in one day. Can somebody say hallelujah? Can somebody say Hallelujah. So I want to tell us that there is no negotiation about it. God has already given us a command to be fruitful. And we shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I said we shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. It's that raised Christ from the dead. He that raised Christ.
Jesus from the dead shall also quicken our what? Our mortal body. So is to impart velocity into our life, to impart energy into our life so that we are unstoppable. To impart energy into our life so that we cannot be destroyed, we cannot be defeated. And that will be our portion in the name of Jesus. I said that will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Romans chapter 8. I also what? Quicken our mortal body by the spirit that dwelleth in you. So we need to be quickened. Hallelujah. It is that quickening spirit that we need. You know, in John 663, please give us John 663. John 663, sir. John 663, sir. It's my brother there. Okay. It is the spirit that quickens. Can somebody say the spirit that quickens? The flesh profiteth what? Nothing. The words that I speak are what? They are spirit and life. We need to be quickened in order to encounter new wave. We need to be quickened by the Holy Spirit in our inner man. Hallelujah. It is the spirit that quickens. And when the spirit quickens you, it will quicken you to open your mouth and preach the gospel. It will quicken you to preach the gospel. Because Jesus has given us the great commission. And what is the great commission? We should go into all the world and preach the gospel. So it is the quickening power of the Holy Spirit that will make it possible for us to speak out. So that life will be saved. So one day... In that Acts 2, 41, 41 3,000 souls were saved. And thereafter, 5,000 were saved. And multitudes beyond description were also saved. Something is about to hit this church. Something is about to hit Alakwere Church. Alakwere Church is about to gather momentum. Can somebody say Holy Ghost momentum? Come our way. Say Holy Ghost momentum. Come our way. We need Holy Ghost momentum to go out there and preach the gospel to every creature. Praise the name of the Lord. I said praise the name of the Lord. So it is the Holy Spirit that we need to be able to do this work. We cannot do it on our own. Is the Holy Spirit that is in our midst, and He will save. In Zephaniah three seventeen, He said, "The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty; He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in His love, and He will joy over thee with singing." I see God join over us with singing in the name of Jesus. We are to go and manifest His glory around us. And we have to do it with joy. We can't do it with sorrow. We have to do it with joy. And the Lord who has called us will help us to win souls in the name of Jesus. I say we help us to win souls in the mighty name of Jesus. Now when you look at yourself, you may see yourself as a dry bone. Now let's go to Ezekiel chapter 37, Ezekiel chapter 37, from verse 1. As Ezekiel 37, from verse number 1. And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, they were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Son of man, 
can these bones live? So what did Ezekiel say? What did Ezekiel say? Oh Lord, thou knows. It's only God that knows whether dry bones can live. And verse 4. And again he said unto me, Prophesy to these bones, and say unto them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I say to all dry bones in this church, hear the word of the Lord. I say to all dry bones in our family, hear the word of the Lord. Dry bones are about to hear the word of the Lord. And he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, say, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Dry bones shall live. Please say amen. And I will lay sinews upon you, and we bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. I prophesy to bright bones, I say you shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise, and a shaking, and bones came together, bone to his bone. There is a noise in the house, I say there is a noise in the house, bone is coming to bone, Bone is coming to bone. Somebody they say we bone is coming to bone in the name of the Lord Jesus. And behold, I beheld the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and then the skin covered them above, but there was no breath. So the flesh has come upon the bones, but the bones were, were lifeless. And by the time you now get to verse 9, then said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy unto the wind. We are about to prophesy to the wind now. I say we are about to prophesy to the wind. I say we are about to prophesy to the wind. You might not have had when you begin to prophesy to the wind. I say as you prophesy to the wind, something is about to happen in your family. Something is about to happen in your children. Something is about to happen in your business. We are prophesying to the wind. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Son of man, say to the wind, Thus said the Lord God, Come from the four winds. How many winds do we have? How many winds? How many winds? What is this church called? Four square. How many winds do we have? How many winds do we have? We are about to prophesy to the winds. And first, we are like to be catapulted to the top. We are moving to the next level. The word of God will fill the whole of Alakwere through our mouth. The word of God, God will use the use to preach the word around Alakwere again. God will use the adults to preach the word around Alakwere again. Because we are going to prophesy to the wind. Praise the name of the Lord. O oh, breath, breathe upon those slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived. Breath is coming upon those that have been slain, and they will live. I say, the church will live again, and stood upon their feet, exceeding great army. Where you are, can you just stand up for a for about five seconds, just stand up for about four, five seconds, just stand up on your feet. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. Marching on. Marching on. 
gospel and it shall quicken us in the name of Jesus. I say it shall quicken us in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. So, there are four wings that will make you indefatigable. You cannot be defeated when you recognize that you have these four wings. There is the east wind. The east wind, you use it to defeat your enemy. When, when you prophesy to the east wind, the east wind is what parted the Red Sea in two, and the children of Israel were able to pass through the dry, dry ground. Can somebody say the east wind? As you prophesy to the east wind of your life, your enemies will part, and you'll be able to be victorious. I see you being victorious in your marriage victory, in your business victory, in your life victory. Whatever you do, you will have victory in the name of Jesus. Everybody say east wind. Everybody say east wind. Hallelujah.
I say the east wind of the Lord will be grievous upon your enemies. And before they and there were no such locusts as they, neither after them shall be. Verse 15. And they were and they covered the face of the earth so that the land was darkened. And they did they eat every herb of the of the land and all the fruit of the trees, the locusts ate, which the hail had left, and there remained not anything in the trees or in the half of the field through all the land of Egypt. Verse 16. And they, okay. And Pharaoh called for Moses. When they now get to verse 16, Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in age, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord. Your enemies will repent. I say your enemies will bow down. Pharaoh is a very stubborn person. Whatever problem you, are, you have, that problem will bow before you. I say they will bow before you. So Pharaoh called for Moses and said, I have sinned against the Lord God and against you. Verse 17. Now therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin. Only this once and entreat the Lord your God. I may take away this death only. The east wind will bring death to your enemies. Hallelujah. So, it made Pharaoh to repent. Your enemy will bow down before you. In the name of the Lord. I say your enemies will bow down in the name of Jesus. So, we see that our God has the east winds to be able to fight our enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. It was the east wind God used to part the Red Sea in Exodus 14. It was the east wind God used to part the Red Sea so that the children of Israel can. If you, if you get to Exodus 14, around verse 22. And Moses sent forth his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry, and the waters were divided. Praise the Lord. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon dry ground, and the waters were a wall of them on the right hand and on the left. It was the east, east wind that God sent upon the Red Sea. And when he sent the east wind upon the Red Sea, the sea parted. Whatever can still see before your path shall part. I say it shall part. I say it shall part. Now I send the east wind against all your enemies, against the Red Sea of your life, the Red Sea of your marriage, the Red Sea of your business. And that east wind will part the Red Sea. I say to part the Red Sea. I say to part the Red Sea. If you receive it, can you shout hallelujah? So we see that the east wind is, is being given to us to be able to solve our problems, to be able to oppress our enemies. Any enemy that comes against the church, the east wind of God is against them the name of Jesus. I said the east wind of God is against them in the name of Jesus. Of course, the Egyptians still pursued in verse 23 and went in after them in the midst of the sea and all Pharaoh's horses and the chariots and it came to pass that in the morning the Lord looked into the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took all their chariots wheels and they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians the Lord will fight for you against your enemies it will fight for you against your opposers in the mighty name of Jesus so they were able to, to cross, and, the, and Moses stretched forth 
stretch out his hand over the sea, and the waters may come upon the Egyptian, and upon the chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand, that verse 27, and the sea returned in his strength. And when the money appeared, the Egyptian fled against it, but the Lord overthrew the Egyptians. The Lord is overthrowing your enemies in the name of Jesus. Those enemies that are pursuing you, they are about to be overthrown. You will not see them again in the name of the Lord Jesus. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned in his strength as the money appeared. And they fled again, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and horsemen, and all the hosts of Pharaoh came into the sea. There remained not so much as one of them. They came in thousands, but by the time the Lord sent the west wind to return, to return the sea back to normal, all the Egyptians were perished in the name of Jesus. And all those things affecting your finance, they will perish in the name of Jesus. All those powers affecting your family will perish in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say East Wind. Somebody say East Wind. Hallelujah. So East Wind is there for you to use as well as West Wind. You know, they use the East Wind to cross. But by the time the enemy was still pursuing them, he now stretched forth his hand and the West Wind was able to sweep because the, the sea came back and they were able to sweep all the Egyptians away. Right where you are, I want you to see all your problems being swept away. All your problems being swept away. Hallelujah. May I just say this prophetically. You don't have anything in your account, but by this time tomorrow, in under 24 hours, you will see that you receive an alert that will surprise you. If you believe it, can you shout amen? You will receive an alert that will shock you because God is about to open your blessings. God is about to do great things in your life. If you receive that, shout hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, we are into this blessing of the four winds. The east wind, the west wind, and of course what? The north wind and the south wind. Those are the winds that the church must begin to engage as we move on in our life. Hallelujah. Because he said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. Hallelujah. And as we begin to pray in his name, things will begin to happen in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I say, praise the name of the Almighty God. So the aspect of that Ezekiel 37 was I said, prophesied to the four winds. So to the east wind, to the west wind, to the north wind, and to the And as we do that, you will see that changes will begin to happen in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. So as they sent the east wind, the sea parted, and when they got to the other side, they sent the west wind, and the west wind came and swallowed all the Egyptians. And I'm saying that today, all our Egyptians shall be swept off in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Then, of course, we have the north wind, and we have the south wind. Praise the Lord. We have the north wind, and we have the south wind. Praise the name of the Lord. 
So we we look at Numbers eleven thirty one, Numbers eleven twenty one. My screen by my friend. Okay. And Moses said, The people among whom I am are 600,000 footmen. Thou hast said, Give them flesh that they may eat, and a whole month. So he said, How am I going to get this flesh? Hallelujah. Go on. Go on, sir. Shall the flocks and the ass be slain for them to survive them? So shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to survive them? Just go on, sir. And the Lord said, Moses, is the Lord's hand was short? Thou shalt see now my word shall come to pass unto thee or not. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered the 70 elders of the people and said them round about the tabernacle. Go on, sir. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto them and took of the spirit of him that gave it unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. Go on, sir. And there remained two of them. The name was Eldad and the name of the other was Midad. And the spirit rested upon them and they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man, said, Elder that Midad do prophesy in the camp. Come again, sir. Go on, sir. And Joshua the son of Nun, and one of his answered and said, My Lord Moses forbid them. Go on. And Moses said unto the envious thou for my sake, who God that all the Lord's people were prophets. God is going to make us in another question prophets in the name of Jesus. I see you prophesying in your family. I see you prophesying over your children in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will put his spirit upon them. Put your hand, your right hand upon your head. Say, oh Lord, put your spirit upon me. As I am in this shot today, put your spirit upon me in the name of Jesus. And Moses got him into the camp, he and the elders of the church. Just go on, sir. And there went forth a wind. Somebody say, a wind. And brought quails from the sea. And let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and as it were a day's journey on the other side round about the camp can you begin to see quails all around you i say can you begin to see blessings all around you the impossible is happening in Alakwere. during this convocation i see blessings surrounding Alakwere church if you receive it can you say amen okay yes about two, as it were, two could be side, and upon the face of the earth, yes, ma, as yes, sir. And the people stood up on that day, and all the night, and all the next, and they gathered quays, so that he that gathered least, gathered ten homers, and they spread them all abroad themselves, and about the camp. There is nothing possible for God. It's just to send a wind.
This wind is from the end of the earth to the end of heaven. God is about to use us to be able to strengthen us to witness to our people. We may think that we don't, we can't do it in Alakwere, but I tell you, when the wind blows upon us, the energy and the power will come in the name of the Lord Jesus. I said the energy and the power will come to us in the name of Jesus. It will activate us and we will never, never remain the same. Praise the name of the Lord. As I try to wind up this lecture, we see that we are talking about the new way of fruitfulness. God wants to release a new way of fruitfulness upon us. And that new way of fruitfulness comes through the power of the, of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes upon us, there is nothing that we cannot do for him. We'll be able to do all things. We remember when God used this church to take the gospel to, to Gambia. At that time, we have not even done the ceiling in our church uh, and and God will go to Gambia and preach the gospel. And I saw that it was on my birthday, I when I was 45, now I am above 70. It was when I was 45 that I you know I bought ticket from my own self and went to Gambia and printed a track. And the child is said I should go there with God loves all Gambians. Actually, I did not know too much about Gambia, but I heard it when I prayed. And when I got to the airport, I started giving them God loves all Gambians. And they were actually 98% Gambians. 98% of them were Muslims. But when I gave them trust, and they said, God loves all Gambians, give me my copy, give me my copy. They started, they started getting the trap from the airport. They said, I must have my own copy. And that was how we brought the good news to Gambia. I see us bringing good news to our neighbors in the name of Jesus. As we move in the power of the Holy Ghost, God is about to do something new. And today, we have many churches in Gambia to the glory of God. All we need to do is to obey the law. I know when I was uh, in Abuja, God said we should take the gospel to Niger Republic. And he said I must not go to the cap capital. I said, how do I go? He said I must go to Maradi. He said Maradi is near Katina. So I took the map and I saw that Maradi was actually a, a few kilometers to Katina. And so I took my mission director and we went to Katina and from there we were able to get to Maradi. And we got to Maradi and preached the gospel there. And today, thank God, there is false fear in the Jewish Republic. Can somebody shout hallelujah to heaven? So you can do it. There is nothing you cannot do. All you need to do is the wind of the Holy Spirit. Can somebody say the wind of the Holy Spirit? I didn't hear you say the wind of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So the wind of the Holy Ghost will bring fruitfulness into our lives in the name of Jesus. I say the wind of the Holy Ghost will bring fruitfulness into our lives in the name of Jesus. So, what, how do we become fruitful? I just want to give you some keys to fruitfulness as I round up this lecture. In, um, in Proverbs 29, 18, my friends will please help me quickly because I will be reading some scriptures very fast. Proverbs 29, 18 is my brother still there on the sea. Where there is no vision, what happens? People perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is she. Can somebody say amen? Then give me Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16. Max is an entry into the 665 left here. And he said unto them, Go ye to all the world and what? Preach the gospel to 
every creation. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Can you go on, sir? Can you go on to 16? He that believeth and is baptized shall be what? Saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17. All of us shall we read verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Yes. And they shall take off serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hand on the sick, and they shall recover. So after the Lord has spoken, he was received into heaven and sat on the right hand of the majesty on high. Somebody say amen. So in order to be fruitful, one, you must avoid lukewarmness. Avoid lukewarmness, which is a state of fruitlessness. Avoid lukewarmness. Don't be lukewarm. Revelation 3 from verse 14. Revelation 3, 14. I just give you a couple of them. And unto the angel of the Laodicean shall write, this is the amen, the faithful, and the true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. Can you go on, sir? I know that what that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, say I am not lukewarm. Say I refuse to be lukewarm. Linda Kodo, I say I will spill you out of your, my mouth. Verse 17. Let's do it fast. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me go tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that is faith that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of your nakedness be will not appear and anoint thy eyes that thou mayest see God will anoint our eyes and we shall see in the name of Jesus so don't be lukewarm avoid lukewarmness Lukewarmness does not bring fruitfulness. Number two, always operate with the spirit of love. If you want to be fruitful, you must operate in the spirit of love. Mark 1 41. Mark 1 41. Mark 1 41. Don't know whether it's on the screen. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, touched him, and said, I will be thou clean. So, fruitfulness comes when we have the spirit of love operating in our life. If you want to be fruitful, you must operate in the spirit of love. Mark 9.36. Mark 9.36. Mark 9.36. Okay. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, go on, sir. Whoever shall receive one of these little ones in my name, receiveth me. And whosoever shall receiveth me, receiveth not me, but he that sent me. Verse 38. John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in your name, and he followeth not us, and we forbade him because he followeth us not. Verse 39. But he said, Forbid him not, for he that there is no man that shall do a miracle in my name, that shall can speak lightly. If we need the spirit of love in order to operate in fruitfulness. Number three, keep pressing towards your goal. Philippians 3.14. So, keep pressing towards your goal. Be diligent in your work. Ecclesiastes 9.10 or John 4.35. Any of those two or any one we have there. Are we seeing Mark 9.39? You can give us Ecclesiastes 9.10 so that we quickly... Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, what should you do? Do it with all your mind. As you are teaching in the Sunday school, do it with your mind. 
For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Whatever we do, let's do it with all our strength, with all our might. And the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And of course, you can also write down John 4.35. We will not be able to read it. John 4.35. And then number four, let your desire be fruits at a boiling point. Genesis 31. Genesis 31. That woman said, give me children or else I die. So uh, our desire was at boiling point. When Rachel saw that she bear Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, give me children or else I die. So our desire was at a boiling point. Proverbs 22, 29 says, Whatsoever that I have find that to do it to all your might. Praise the name of the Lord. And then number five, take steps to purge and prune negative rubbish. John 15, 2. Take steps to purge and to prune negative rubbish. If you want to be fruitful, you must take steps to purge and prune negative rubbish. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Say, oh Lord, purge me. Somebody raise up your hand and say, oh Lord, purge me. That I may bring forth more fruit. Say, oh Lord, purge me. That I may bring forth more fruit. Can somebody say, amen. What number are we now? Number six. Is it number five? Number six. You must ask God to purge you every day. Ask God to do what? To purge you every day. First Corinthians 15, 51. First Corinthians 15, 51. God must purge you. God must purge me every day. First Corinthians 15, 31. First Corinthians 15, 31. First Corinthians 15, 31. And I protest for your re, uh, rejoicing. When I was in Christ, by your rejoicing which I have in Christ Jesus, I die daily. So you see Paul, he was dying daily. He was purging himself daily. So we need daily purge. Say, oh Lord, purge me daily. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, purge me daily. Can somebody say amen to that? Then number seven, aim at perfection in everything every day. Aim at perfection in everything every day. Proverbs 4, 18. You must aim at perfection. You must aim at perfection. Proverbs 4, 18. Can we all read one, two, three, go? But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. One more time. The, but the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth what? More and more. Your light will shine more and more unto a perfect day in the name of Jesus. So you must aim at perfection. Number eight, give glory to God privately for what is doing in your life. Give glory to God privately for what he's doing in your life. Psalm 72, 17 to 19. Psalm 72, 17 to 19. Psalm 72, 17 to 19. His name is all shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. Verse 19. And blessed be his glorious name forever. So you must bless his glorious name forever. And let the whole life be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. So you must, 
you must bless him forever. Bless his name forever. No matter what is done in your life, give him glory. And glory shall be given unto him. Numbers 14, 21. We, are all, we just have one more and then we are almost there. Numbers 14, 21. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. I see your life being filled with the glory of the Lord. I say I see your life being filled with the glory of the Lord. He said as long as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. As truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. If you receive that, can you say amen? Finally, take root of love downwards to bear fruit of righteousness upwards. Take root of love downwards to bear fruit of righteousness upwards. We can see that in Isaiah 37, 31. 37, 31. Isaiah 37, 31. And the remnant that is escaped out of Judah shall I take root downwards. I see you taking root downwards. And you will bear fruit upwards. I say you will take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. If you receive that, say amen. And Psalm 20, Isaiah 27 6 says, He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom blossoms. Please put it on the screen for us as we stand up to our feet. Isaiah 27 6. You are taking root downwards and you will blossom and bud and bear fruit upwards in the name of Jesus. Shall we all read one, two, three, go? He shall cause them the come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom, blossom. Allah pray the first creation, you will blossom, blossoms, and fill the face of the world with fruits. Amen, amen. Let's rise to our feet. Blessings and glory and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, ah, oh no, ah, no. Be up to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Fill me with fresh wave. 
fruits of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We put your right hand on your heart and say, Every horn of limitation, give way in the name of Jesus. Every horn of limitation, give way in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Can you pray? Every horn of limitation in my life, give way, give way, give way, give way, give way, give way. Every horn of limitation, give way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Raise that hand up and say, Oh Lord, every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lukewarmness in my life die in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Okay. Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lukewarmness die in the name of Jesus. Kale makura ke posen de leke. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally say, fire of God. Enlarge my coast. Fire of God. Enlarge my coast. Can you pray that prayer? Fire of God. Enlarge my coast. Fire of God. Enlarge my coast. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. Worship you, we adore you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we close our eyes? Father, we thank you this morning for your word that has been sent to us. A new way for fruitfulness. Thank you, Lord, because our hearts are yearning for a new way of fruitfulness. Lord, by faith, we receive it this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, that you visit us individually, visit us collectively with a new way of fruitfulness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every dryness in our life, Lord, we have sent the wind, the east wind and the west wind. Lord, east wind against our enemies, east wind against our dryness, in the name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy has put something in our life that is beyond us, we release east wind against the enemies of our life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we are saying that any dryness in our life caused by the enemy, let the east wind of God remove that dryness in the name of Jesus. We pray for fruitfulness. Fruitfulness in our life. Fruitfulness of soul winning. Fruitfulness of salvation. Fruitfulness, oh God, of progress. Progress in our business. Progress in our life. Progress in our ministry. Progress in our family. Progress in the, in the church. Let there be progress in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. to remove that stagnation. God is going to remove that darkness. God is going to remove whatever is obstructing your way. You can come out by faith this morning. Just step out for a few seconds and I pray for you. You 
You want that fruitfulness in your life, in your business, in your ministry, and you trust God for a touch this morning. Hallelujah. Just come quickly. Just come quickly. Maybe there's an area you are finding some obstacle in your life. Maybe there's some area you are finding some difficulty in your life. God is here this morning. I know his power is here. His might is here. He is a God of impossibilities. He can do all things. Father, we thank you. These ones have not come to me. They have come to this exalted daughter, hallelujah, that belongs to your son, the shepherd of this church. Lord, as they come, oh God, in faith, Lord, I pray for them. Whatever is an obstacle in their life, as I pray this morning, let that obstacle melt. I say let that obstacle melt in the name of Jesus. Whatever constitutes impossibilities in their life, let that impossibility disappear in the name of Jesus. Let the impossibility disappear. Let the long-standing problem be solved. I say let the long-standing problem be solved. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the long-standing problem be solved. Let the long-standing problem be solved. To receive an anointing of new wave. Receive new wave. Receive new wave anointing. Receive new wave anointing. Receive new wave anointing. Lord, do the impossible in their life. Cause them to encounter joy. Cause them to encounter peace. Cause them to encounter progress. Cause them to encounter productivity. Cause them to encounter fruitfulness. Fruitfulness spiritual. Fruitfulness physical, fruitfulness financial, encounter fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. What joy that fills my soul. Something happened. this gift. You know, he mentioned how we got revelation to go to Gambia. Today, Gambia is a place where Foursquare is established with lots of churches. He got revelation to go to Maradi. He saw what is happening now years ago. At over 40 years ago, uh, 30 years ago, and it took off. It started. Our eyes need to open. We need to have direction. We need to hear God clearly. And this is a man of holy God. A, an holy man of almighty God. Let's say, Father, we thank you for this gift. And let's tap into that. We call on mommy to come and pray. To come and round up this prayer for our daddy. of us with the spirit of fruitfulness. Fruitfulness in all areas of our lives. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your name. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for your servant you have used. Eternal rock of ages, I pray, King of King, that you will replenish him in the mighty name of Jesus. You will replenish his anointing. You will replenish his vision. You will replenish is wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, Lord God, that all that he has sown into the ministry, eternal rock of ages, 
we begin to speak here and there in the mighty name of Jesus. And for your children, Father, Lord God, that have had this work, more than your servants have done, eternal rock of ages, you will empower them, you will baptize them, you will anoint them, you will give them vision to do more in the mighty name of Jesus, so that the gospel will go around the world in the mighty name of Jesus. And in our area here, Father, Lord God, I pray that we empower each and every one of us to do the work of evangelism, that we make souls come into your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, Lord God. We praise and exalt your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please jam those beautiful hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are in the era of new way. And we all experience it in Jesus' name. We will move forward in the name of Jesus. So this morning, as we move into the era of new way for fruitfulness, our fruitfulness we enlarge and expand in Jesus' name. So this morning, we want to say, God, we want to remove, we bring unto the Lord that which he says bring. We want to walk in obedience to the Lord. 100%. So this morning we are starting with giving our offering. And as many as, you know, we pledged about the children's church last week, as many as want to key into it, because a lot of people, and the way it happened in the life of Solomon, and even Queen of Sheba went there. Let me tell you, it is happening in our church. Some people come, even from what is, you carry it somewhere and plant it there. the card, please ask for it. The card that uh, for the card. and the other one is your is your tight. You want to be part of the pledge concerning the friends church. We had it last week and if you say oh I missed it last week I want to key to it please come welcome this morning. Praise the Lord. So we're starting with our tithe and the children's church. Some people now say we should call it Next J Building. Not just, please jump your hands together for the Lord. Because it's not just housing the children's church, it's housing the teens' church. So they said, Building. Praise the Lord. You can see our vision of Allah, the new way, is exactly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So this morning, Let's come to the Bible with our, our tithes. The tithe, the Bible says, our profit, one-tenth of our income. Praise the Lord. Before we start, women, as you are killing Praise the Lord. And some of us, we first remove the whole of the intestine. Put it to one side. I be mean, so that you leave it to one side. Even if the bite now breaks inside. That one. So, as, pray. And in the name of the Lord, God promised. And God promise keeper. He's a fool. He said, Who ye me? Now, let's proving if I will not open windows in heaven and pour you down blessing, that there will not be enough room this goodness with me
in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, you will expand to the right and to the left. In the name of Jesus. The stake of your tent will be enlarged. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have been trusting God. Global relevance. Receive the global relevance in Jesus. The Lord windows in heaven and pour you down blessing in the name of the lord because you have decided to take this step the lord will open windows in the name of jesus windows in heaven for you and pour you down blessings in the name of jesus we come and ask of, of, the, of the, uh, the, the miracle the secret of your miracle in the name of jesus and you will not have anything to say other than to say Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will surprise you. The Lord will surprise we with enlargement. To be of eternal and international relevance, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, your name will be noise in great places, in the name of Jesus. None of your children will miss it in life. Your children will be taught of the Lord. And great will be the peace of your children. In the name of the Lord, you will have peace. Your children will In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will lift you up. Lift you up to greatness. Lift you up to enlargement. In the name of Jesus, any dead person that come in contact with you receive life. In the name of Jesus. Any frustrating situation that comes into your place, receive solution. In the name of Jesus. Any discouraged human being, when they come near you, the Lord will give you special wisdom. And they receive a lifting in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Because you will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. According to the power that worketh in us. The power of the Holy Ghost work with you move with you, direct you, enlarge you in the name of Jesus. And as many as are keen to the pledge we made last week concerning the children's church, we said that Lord build houses for you in Jesus' name. The Lord caused your coast to enlarge. If you have houses already, receive more in the name of Jesus. And in the, your old age, you will never lack resources. And you, the, look, the the, that which is yours for the morning, all those good things that the Lord has for you for your morning time, we not wait for afternoon. Those good things that the Lord planned for you for your afternoon, we not wait for evening. Those good things that the Lord planned for your evening, we not wait for the night. In the name of Jesus, and all those words that the Lord planned for you for your night's life, we not wait for your for you in the in the in the graveyard. In the name of Jesus, you will anito. And in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please let's package our offering. Let's package it according to the word of God. He said that there may be meat in my house. Number one. Number two, when he was telling the children of Israel. Leviticus about sacrifices. He said they should, he was specific about the type of sacrifice. He said the animal must not be one eye. You know, I had this experience recently when I decided to make it to quickly raise some lamb to sell. You know, that's a good business. Within one month, I made good money. Praise the Lord. And there was this rule you cannot sell it to them. Anyone that has any wound at all, any wound at all, even one leg enter, just one arm, the leg enter one of the floors, later floor, and it got strained. It wasn't broken, it got strained. It got a bit swollen, so we put plaster. They didn't buy from me. You can see how tough it is, and how much more what we want to give God. So this morning, let's package our offering. Let's package it. That thing which you will love. You know, when we're talking about our giving, we said God put his hand onto the best because he gave us the best. So that which you will love to have, that is what you should give to God. Praise the Lord. The best. 
as we rise and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to grieve. Because as the earth remains, you are giving me life so that I can give this gift. Praise the Lord. Because as the life remains, you will keep having opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for giving me life. Because you are alive. That's why we can talk about bring. Abby, Father, thank you for giving me life. You that you have given me life. I know that you have given me opportunity to give. And as you are giving me this opportunity, I know it's a more glorious experience in Jesus' name. Why not rise up and raise your offering and say, Father, thank you. We are using it as worship to the Lord. We call it worship offering. We have two envelopes this morning. We have the worship offering envelope and we have the mission envelope. Thank God that our daddy mentioned the issue of going to Gambia. And he will
praise the Lord. And uh, today, the foundation are done a lot on the ground, on the ground. We are sponsored even people in schools, different levels. But as the donors give up, another donor came and sent something to us. And they give us conditions. So when they give conditions, we look at the condition. Praise the Lord. So this time around, another donor gave us something. And it's specific. The check there is the amount the donor gave and mention the number. Praise the Lord. So, the only thing is that it passed through our foundation. But we go by what the donor says because we are Christians. We can only add to it. We can't deduct. So, this morning, about six people will be given just issue of education support. Six people. Praise the Lord. And more of that will be coming in Jesus' name. As the donor gives us, we do the thing us to do. And we are trusting God that we will touch the coast of the foundation in Jesus' name. And we do much more in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So one of our donors have sent money and we have raised the check. And this is basically on education support for six people. And that is the amount that was sent now. Praise the Lord. Six people. And, you know, a little bit for the children's church too. But this one is for the six people. I mentioned like that. So on that note, I will call on the six people. And I call on my mommy to present to the six on our behalf. And on behalf of the foundation. Praise the Lord. So this morning, we will call on these six people. And I'm trusting God that more will come in Jesus' name. And we will all be beneficiary of this goodness in Jesus' name. And the Lord will enlarge our coast in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I'll call on mommy to present. You know, this is a donor that I've experienced something in our ministry. And I will assure people are watching us now, even on YouTube. And you know, you can watch YouTube every now and then. So we have raised the money. And I'm sure the person may be watching us on that note. And we actually sent all this information that we are going to have today. So I will call this morning, Bro David Opola. Bro David Opola. It's just little talking of education support from our donor, not from me, on Professor Mrs. Alabajola, Professor Alabajola Show's foundation baseline. Praise the Lord. As he's coming, we have, he's coming from the, he's in the media. So, okay, he's already here. Praise the Lord. That is called David Okwala. So, we have two letters there. You respond to one and send the one back. And there is one that you will keep. Praise the Lord. Sister 
Esther Joel. Sister Esther Joel. Sister Esther Joel. given this time around is commitment. What's the role? The person asked us question. So we were able to, I give us a number of information. Worshipping with us for the very first time on a Sunday service like this. And so, if you are here in this auditorium and today is the first time you are worshipping with us, or whether you are worshipping with us on, on our YouTube, or you are watching us from our YouTube, can you please signify by raising up your hand? If you are online, you can drop it in the comment section. Or if you are here in this auditorium, can you please signify by raising up your hand? Today is the very first time you are worshipping with us on a Sunday service like this. You may have attended other services, but today is the first Sunday service. Praise the Lord. Alright. So please let's listen attentively to the following announcements. The Children Church Building Project is still ongoing. And we are currently at the stage of completing the internal and external walls. Please kindly remember to redeem your pledges and continue to give generously uh, towards the completion of this project. And may God bless you bountifully as you do so in the name of Jesus. Our district convocation tagged a new wave from Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 comes up from 19th of September to 25th of September 2022. Please let us prepare for the new wave that God is sending to us. There will be CFM and FWI meeting today, immediately after the service. CFM is the Council of First Square Men and all men from the age 18 and above are part of CFM. FWI is First Square Women International. Every woman from the age of 18 upward belongs to FWR. Please wait for these meetings immediately after the service. There will be home and life fellowship at our various centers by 6 p.m. today. Kindly see the screen for a center closest to you. All heads of ministry should remember to send their year planner for the church year 2022-2023 to foursquare dhqc at gmail.com on or before 30th of September 2022. Let's listen for the activities for this week. Tomorrow, by the special grace of God, we'll be having our prayer of multiplication by 6 p.m. here in this auditorium. And then on Tuesday, we'll be continuing on our series, The Holy Spirit and Elijah, by 6.30 p.m. So please... Um, Come here and join the Bible study. We also have discussion groups in Bible study where we discuss real life issues. Amen. And for adventure, you cannot meet up um, due to um, any valid reason. You can join 
the Bible study online via our Zoom platform and our YouTube channel. On Wednesday by 10 a.m., we'll be having our faith clinic. Faith clinic by 10 a.m. It holds here physically as well as virtually. Later on Wednesday by 6.30 p.m., the prayer warriors will be gathering to have their meeting, and all lovers of prayer and new members are welcome to join them. On Thursday by 6.30 p.m., the entire church gathers together to pray every Thursday by 6.30 p.m., and we'll be holding it this Thursday as well for our prayer meeting by 6.30 p.m. On Saturday by 4 p.m., we'll be having evangelism and visitation. Evangelism and visitation by 4 p.m. on Saturday. And by the special grace of God, we'll be having our Holy Ghost service next week Sunday. It starts at 7.30 a.m. with the Travelers prayer meeting. And we move from there to Sunday school by 8 a.m. Sunday school is compulsory for all children of God. Please plan and prepare to attend Sunday school weekly. And by 9 a.m., we'll be having our Holy Ghost service. Praise the Lord. If you have heard these announcements, can you say a loud amen? amen. amen. Please let's celebrate um, our mommy, Professor Alaba, Reverend Professor Alaba Jolao as she comes to declare God's blessings upon us. Please, you can do better. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you enjoy yourself today, why not shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And in the name of the Lord, celebrations, joy and rejoicing. We never end in your life, in your home, in your environment, in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you step to, whether there has been mischief or negative before, as you step there, it changed to good news. In the name of Jesus. Somebody did not hear me. Anywhere you step to, whatever had been happening before, as you step there, the situation changed for the good news in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you step to, if it has been darkness before, light shines in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you step though, if it has been morning before, joy is step there in the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord shine forth in your life in Jesus' name. The power of the Lord be your right hand in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord grant unto you wisdom, special wisdom, and special miracles in the name of Jesus. Unbeatable wisdom. When Queen of Sheba goes to see Solomon, he said, half of, he would, half, what I was told was even less than half of what I can see. In the name of the Lord, those that have heard about you, when you see, they see you. They will say, what we have seen is even much more than what we have had in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you for good in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord, nations will come and serve your God because of you. In the name of Jesus. Those that were saying, what will this one become? They will hear come and see. In the name of Jesus. Those that were saying, how far can this one go? They will come and go and tell nations, come and see the wonders of our time. In the name of Jesus. Those that have been looking at your business or look at you and say, why will this one make it in life? By, the time, by, by, by this time tomorrow, the good news will be that this is a different story. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord will envelop you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you are looking at yourself and say, how will I make it to the end of the month? I say in the name of Jesus, by this time tomorrow, the way it happened in the gate of Samaria, you will have much more in the name of Jesus, much more than you can imagine in the name of the Lord. The hand of the Lord will go with you, We go before you. In the name of Jesus. If there is any evil ahead, you will never get there. The God, instead of you to even go there, if you are so adamant that you want to go there, the Lord himself will make a way that you will never meet that evil in Jesus' name. If evil is
is coming behind you. It will never get you in the name of Jesus. It's if, if evil is at the side, the rock of ages will be your shield in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord, you will always arise and shine. For your light will come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In the name of Jesus. Let's arise. As I call on daddy to come and pray. Let's. Our daddy, our reverend. Daddy, reverend, I deal with me. Yes, sir. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Just worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. He has run for me. He has run. Jesus has done it for me. Oh, he has what my mother cannot do. He has done for me. What education. Neither shadow of turning. Thank you for your word that has come to us expressly today. The new way of fruitfulness. Thank you for sending us the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that can change our life. Thank you for your word that has come. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Accept our praises in the name of Jesus. It has come with new wave. That new wave that will catapult us to stardom. That new way for evangelism, that new way for witnessing, that we, new way of saving souls, we receive it this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that the east wind will blow all our problems away. Let the east wind make a way for us in the Red Sea. East wind of God, let it make a way for us to travel the Red Sea in the name of Jesus. And even when our enemies are coming behind us, thank you because the west wind will swallow them up. In the name of Jesus, the west wind will swallow them up in the name of Jesus. And we thank you because we are moving to the next level. Moving to the next level of witnessing. Moving to the next level of preaching the gospel, we receive new fire, new anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. We say from today, this 11th day of September 2022, we receive new power in the name of Jesus. Power to witness is our portion in the name of Jesus. Power to preach the gospel is our portion. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are facing challenges today as we go home. Let those challenges bow before you in the name of Jesus. As Pharaoh bowed before Moses, let your challenges bow before you in the name of Jesus. Our God sent locusts upon the Egyptians and they were afraid. Because the locusts was able to eat their trees, eat their fruit, and they say, Moses, please beg God for us. 
Lord, we pray our enemies will bow before us in the name of Jesus. Lord, those who are expecting to carry their basin, let them begin to carry their babies by faith now in the name of Jesus. Wombs that have been dry for years, wombs that have never carried babies from today, 11th day of September 2022, let there be new way for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Your name shall be glorified. Your name shall be adored. And we also thank you, Lord, for our mommy's foundation that has blessed about six people today. We pray that those blessings shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. And that foundation shall never be dry. That foundation shall keep increasing, shall keep blessing people year in, year out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory and honor be to your holy name. There are people who don't even know where their next blessings will come from. They say, everything is dry in my life. From today, receive a new way for blessing. In the name of Jesus, by faith, I release a new way of blessing. To anybody who can say amen, receive a new way of blessing. In the name of Jesus, blessing from above power from above, favor from above. You are going home with it in the name of Jesus. I see you receiving new alert this week. New alert this week. Alert that will surprise you. Alert will be a blessing to your children. Let new wave of blessing of alert be received by you this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you for the choir. They have blessed us today. May you empower them again to remain a blessing continually and continuously in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Sunday school teachers. You have come to teach today. May God empower you more and more to teach in the wisdom of God in the name of 